Okay, so I don't know what video I was supposed to be filming today. I already dropped the update video. Let me check Trello, because I really don't know what I'm supposed to be filming today. <sighs> but how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Digital Empire, Digital Empress Palace, the Digital Empress channel. I'm your cybersecurity empress, girl baddie whatever you want to call me let's see so let's do 10 reasons why i like the cybersecurity career let's do that okay thank god because i have all the reasons written down number one i will always have a job i can never fall off in the field of cybersecurity. i'm always gonna have a job i can pick up where exactly where i left off I'm always like updating my skills and studying and looking up the current events. Or if I stop and like want to take a break from cybersecurity, I'm always going to have a job. I'm always going to be able to like get opportunities like, or I can create my own. So if you do decide to come in this field, even if you're a girl and you look like me and you think like, oh, like I'm too girly, I can't do cybersecurity. Yes, you can. You're always going to have a job. Okay. That's reason number one. Reason number two is, it kind of ties into reason number one, the opportunities are endless. Like, I, there's this website that I always give my clients where I'm like, go look at this website and read through all the different careers in this field. Like, you could do cybersecurity engineering, like I do. You could be a penetration tester, which kind of ties into cybersecurity engineering kind of i think a lot of the hats in cybersecurity kind of play into each other you can kind of like mish and mish mesh mix and match your skills but yeah like there's digital forensics which is also a cool profession that i was thinking about getting into there's cybersecurity coding there's um cybersecurity analysis there's cybersecurity uh project management you don't always have to be technical which I'm probably going to explain to you guys because I think some of you don't want to do the technical side. There is a non-technical side to cybersecurity, which is the great part about cybersecurity. You can get literally into anything. Like, opportunities are endless. Number three, learning never stops. Like, every day. I think recently there was a zero day for Mozilla Firefox. If you use Firefox as a web browser, please go and update your web browser. I think, I don't know if they found the, like how to stop it yet, but update your browser, even if you use it. Um, but there's always new hacks. There's always new information. There's always new tools coming out. There's always new um, vulnerabilities popping up. Like there's, you could just, you're always learning and I love that. Like I could just, I could stop for like a couple months. I could go on vacation and then pick up out of nowhere and be like, okay, I want to go and study this and I'm good. Literally like with, with this, like I'm relearning the basis. Like there's some things in here that I just didn't know. And now that I know from reading this book, like I can add that to my resume of skills and knowledge that i know like the attack life cycle i knew about that but now i know like in depth what all the steps of the attack life cycle are because of this book i love it but yeah number three the learning never stops you're always going to be learning you're all there's always going to be new things for you to learn and whatnot Number four, now I eventually want to get into this. I could have done this with my significant other if things didn't go as they were in 2019. I was literally this close to traveling while also doing YouTube and studying and picking up new skills. You can travel the world with cybersecurity. Um, you just have to plan it out um, I do eventually want to do a segment on here where I like travel and like study different things in different countries or different states and stuff like that. Um, but I do want to travel the world and like provide cybersecurity solutions everywhere and help people work on securing their data and stuff in different parts of the world. You can do that. You can also do that if you ha guys have not seen my hackathon and CTF video. I'll put that up 
at the top people travel the world and travel okay like i was saying my boo called um i'm gonna put the hackathon and ctf video so you guys can kind of get a taste of like what that's like basically they have these secret competitions like you could go to hackathons and like the more you win and the more that people know that you're winning in these hackathons um you start to get invited to or ctfs you get you start to get invited to these like private ones where they have like more money up for grabs and you can run like different scholarships and different prizes and just things that you wouldn't be able to get at the like like the regular hackathons or ctfs i guess like the 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 more inclusive ones that invite that anybody could go to you could travel doing that but i have noticed or like known people who in this field who have traveled and like been contracted out to certain places to go and pen test or run bug bounties or to teach or to run a project you know so that's number four as to why i like cyber security number five if you don't like math um i don't have i used to hate math in high school but now i don't hate math like i would honestly take a math class like i would take a higher level math class if i weren't really wanted to which i might on my computer i might find like an online math course because the older that i got and when i got into college um i started to actually like math a lot more um but math like geometry and trigonometry and uh what's the other math that's like really pre-calc and stuff like that you don't really need math for like the analysis side or if you do like pen testing side but you may need math if you do get into like cybersecurity coding because i know coding does require you to know some math um but as far as like my experience in the tech world um i haven't really used like any type of like advanced math like it's basic i've used basic two plus two one plus one type of math the closest thing that you probably will get into math in this field is probably subnetting subnetting is like the devil i don't know if i've said this on here before subnetting is the devil and one of these days i'm probably gonna get on here and i'm gonna find a solution a way for me to know how to figure out subnetting because subnetting and networking oh my god i remember in college for my cisco course and i had this i think he was peruvian i had this peruvian teacher so he had this thick accent he had this thick peruvian accent and he was trying to teach us subnetting and how cisco routers work and how to configure the routers and configuring the routers and like typing in the commands into the servers and getting it turned on and connected it to the network and analyzing the traffic like that was always easy to me but subnetting when it, it was time to like configure the ips and how many computers get this time i'm like baby this is a puzzle out of my range like i love puzzles but this puzzle is just too much. It was, it's too much. Subnetting is the devil. Just subnetting and cybersecurity is like Java and programming. The devil. Number six, I can help people. I love helping people in the tech industry. I have always, like ever since I first hopped on a computer and my parents and my family knew that I was a little bit more in depth in tech, and like computers and stuff like that um they just i was just more open to like helping people like i just felt like it was my god ordained thing to go and help my family like figure out their phones and connect it to the internet and figuring out how to like download stuff and fix things on the computer like i just felt so smart and so super doing that and then like when I came up here and I got into college and I was like, wow, like I'm back into like helping people 
in tech and like with the computer classes i was like i really like this like i really feel great helping people in this industry i love helping people fix their tech problems i love helping people secure their data and educating them on securing their data it's just so fun like and people just wouldn't expect me, somebody like me, to be in this field. So it's always funny to me when like people are like, oh my God, you're in tech? You work with computers? Yes, I do. Like when I'm actually in the mood to like really, like when I'm in the mood to like get down and dirty and hack and like, you know, teach myself and like study, I'm like a force of nature. Like I really be on my on my stuff. I just love doing that. Like I just feel like also because I don't see very many girls like me in cybersecurity. I don't see very many girls like me. There are girls like me in tech. Like I follow a lot of girls on Instagram who like do modeling, who do beauty, who do their makeup and they're in tech and it just baffles men it baffles men so much that we can help people and we're knowledgeable and we're educated at, and then are fine as hell as at the same time like i don't understand like it's 2020 we're in a new decade y'all gonna have to catch up like you could be fine and you could be smart at the same time like i don't know like i don't know why it takes y'all so long y'all are in this tech industry y'all in the tech industry like we're supposed to be smart people and y'all still up here thinking like us being fine is hurting our brand it's not it's helping it give with the program <laughs> number seven i will never get bored like i think not just only because cybersecurity is always like evolving and cybersecurity is like there's always going to be zero days hackers are always going to be finding new ways to like get into things and giving us an analysts and experts ways to like get jobs and get money i'm the type of person where like i find loopholes and things which is probably why i'm in this field in the first place because hackers are always finding like back doors and plate and things how to find to get into things that they're not supposed to get into i'm i like to think of myself as a very creative person and just i think like i'm one of like the i wouldn't say biggest but like one of the most prominent black women that most people know in this field and i don't see like a lot of girls that look like me who do what I do and I always take advantage of that and like find new ways for girls like me who are interested in this field to prosper so I love to like provide blueprints I love for people to be inspired by me and use me as motivation I'm a woman and I'm also a black woman in tech so i made it i did it i made a way i didn't get bored like i said because there was always obstacles for me to get over I don't get bored because i'm always finding new things to keep me entertained but yes number seven i will never get bored because cybersecurity is such a broad field and i am a very creative person that finds ways to be creative in this field if that makes sense number eight money money the money the money in this field is good if you know where to put yourself and you know how to work your way up the money is going to be i was still in the corporate world and um i stayed in for about maybe two or three years i would have been making six figures by myself you know you can't get paid well in the corporate field um you can also get paid well freelancing if you know what you're doing if you're doing something and you do it well money is eventually going to come so i'm not very i'm not worried about money i do like money we know that i love money we like money in this on this plane on this earth um, but you do get paid well in cybersecurity. You do get paid well in this field. If you set a path and you have a goal in mind about where you wanna go and where you wanna end up financially, you can get there. 
you just have to plan it and you have to keep working like like i said i was almost there i was almost to six figures at the age of like 23 20 i would say about 20 24 25 i would have been at six figures but yeah eight getting paid well um, number nine which kind of ties into making my own money um you can run your own business which i am doing now um yes you can run your own business in cybersecurity. you could be a freelance penetration tester you could be a freelance cybersecurity researcher you could be a freelance malware researcher you could be someone like i said that travels and goes and like you know does project management for people runs their cybersecurity projects make sure they get carried out um i'm trying to think of that one where oh cybersecurity auditing that's one that would happen like they would have cybersecurity auditors come in and they would literally like make sure not my cybersecurity job like we were actually doing the auditing we would go and do cybersecurity auditing but like system administration or help desk you'll sometimes have like the cybersecurity team or an outside cybersecurity team come in and do an audit sometimes they hire like more advanced penetration testers to come in and they'll like audit the overall security and see if they can get in and they'll give you a report i don't know if i've told y'all but i have done that i have done like a contract penetration test on a company and doing that made me it was paid as well but doing that made me realize like i do want to do like run my own business and um do like pen tests on people's apps and companies and stuff like that but yes number nine you can run your own business and finally, number 10, I just love technology. I love my MacBook. I've always knew that I was going to be a MacBook girl. I love high tech stuff because I use it and I need it. And I love technology. That's why I love cybersecurity. Like I'm always messing, I'm always around technology. I'm always messing and tinkering with technology. So it's inevitable. I've always been in love with the latest technology. Even when I was a little, little girl, I always bought like the little SMS um, text message messenger things. And I would give one to my sister and I would make my sister sit there and like text message me outside while, you know, we was trying to see how far we could get away with the uh, sensor. Um, I would get like the digital diary where like you had to speak into the speaker and you couldn't get into the diary unless you, my it was my voice. So I've always had my two-factor authentication on lock, okay? And I would write my diary. I would write my little digital diary. I didn't have like a regular diary. I had a digital one. I had a one where you had to speak into with the voice to get into the diary. I wasn't no basic, I was no basic child, okay? My mom and dad had a very technolo technology advanced girl, okay? I was very expensive. I'm still expensive okay <laughs> i'm still an expensive girl i'm still an expensive woman i was one of those people who never got a razor i'm so upset i missed out on the razor um epidemic i wanted a pink one with a little charm on it and i never got it i was so upset but i was always the one when i got money i would go and get me a little flip phone from walmart and get my minutes and i would talk to my friends or text my friends and that was that but yeah i love technology i love it i love it so much i also love when it can be like pink and girly and like i always make my things like super girly and i always like put my little twist onto it and stuff like that um i love it so much it's just so cool to me i've always loved this since i was a little girl been editing videos and trying to get cameras i had like a bunch of tech y'all like my room was filled with technology i loved it i still love it and i'm gonna love it till the death of me okay that's about it that's my 10 reasons why i like cybersecurity. i was trying to not make this video very long but it's probably gonna be kind of long well make sure you guys subscribe like this video leave me some comments or whatever about what you think or what videos you want next um, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and have a great night, weekend, wherever you are, great day, whatever. And yes.